Hey y'all, so today we are rocking with a new company. This is called World New Hair, I believe. Here are the goodies that came with the wig. I ordered a 250% density 13 by four, 26 inch straight unit. And when I say all this hair is silk, it is silk. As you guys can see, the wig came with the band already inside, super small knots, and a pre-plucked hairline that I went ahead and customized and bleached already to prepare for this wig install. So I'll be doing my very first frontal wig install on the veil. Let's get into it. So I wanted to um, do a bust down the middle, of course, my favorite hairstyle to see on anyone. I just wanted to make sure that this wig actually fit her properly. So that's why you guys see me um, see me here. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit, bring it back so it's not too close to her eyebrows or anything like that. We want this to be a natural lay. Now for me, I am not a frontal wig wearer. I prefer lace closures because of convenience. That's just my thing. But I love seeing like a laid lace frontal wig install. Um, Slay by Jordan, he's probably my favorite um, hairstylist to watch here on YouTube. There are so many other talented hairstylists, stylists, <laughs> hairstylists here on YouTube, but he's my favorite because he's just so detailed. So I did watch one of his videos prior to me attempting to do this frontal wig install. So yeah, here I am just cutting floor, a uh, floor. <laughs> I'm cutting four slits into the wig. I will be taking it off. Um, because I'm going to tint it and cut the rest of the lace off. But I just wanted to show you guys that I won't be doing the bald cap method. In the following clip, you'll see exactly why. But um, I'll get back into doing bald caps when I master doing frontal wig installs. But for this install, I won't be doing the bald cap method. So yeah, I'm tinting the lace using um, some Ruby Kisses foundation. And yeah, I'll be using lace wig tape. To install this wig so no ball cap was necessary because the tape is going to keep the stocking cap from sliding back so i went ahead and i cleaned her hairline with some alcohol just to get it ready and as you guys can see while i'm laying that tape down i'm kind of rubbing it into her skin and that's only to get the tape warmed up and activated so i use my pinking shears to cut off that excess lace and get it ready for for the install. So yeah, I'm using my tweezers because it's best to try not to get your oily fingers um, onto the tape prior to install. It just helps with a better lasting install. Um, and I'm over here touching the tape with my oily fingers like it's nobody's business. But I am using some of my holding spray just to activate the tape a little bit more. And I just wanna see how well my products work with this tape since I am trying it out um, before adding it to my line of products. So yeah, as you guys can see, once I laid that lace onto that tape, it it literally laid, <laughs> like immediately it laid. Now I didn't use any tape on to, um, onto the temples of her head because I just didn't want to risk any hair loss there. So um, her hairline is kind of similar to, to mine in a way, so I didn't want to risk her losing any hair on the side because of the tape. So yeah, I'm, I just ended up using my lace, my lace gel because it's, you know, it's safe. <laughs> and I like to be safe than sorry. So yeah, went ahead and laid the tabs down using the lace gel. And I did spray some spritz off camera just to kind of help, help the lace lay and melt a little bit better. So. Um, I'm working on my middle parts. I want this to be down the center of her forehead. I don't want any off the center side parts. No, I want it a bust down the middle. <laughs> so to emphasize the middle part, I am going to use concealer. Um, I am going to also use some temporary color hairspray just to kind of make that line super crisp. And of course, I'm gonna go in with my melt band. Yep, just to get it all together, I'm going to pass a few, um, I'm, I'm giving the hair a few passes of the flat iron real quick. Um, this hair is silk. It's silk. 
for this to be a company that I've never worked with before, I am very, very, very impressed. The wig is super full. The hair did not shed or tangle even days after this install. She was just telling me how much she loves this hair. So if you're in the market for a wholesale vendor, definitely hit them up for your wigs if you're in that business. But yeah, here we have the outcome of the install. One thing that I should have did that I didn't was adjust the straps in the back to make this wig fit a lot snug. Um, days after installing the wig, I just noticed like the back was a little bit more bulky. Granted, this is not a custom made wig. So um, that was, you know, to be expected. But I would highly suggest if you have a petite head size, use those adjustable straps in the back just to get a more snug and comfortable fit. I'll leave the link to this wig down below in the description. So definitely check it out. There'll be a coupon code there so that you can save at checkout. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this install. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.